My name is The Prime Engine, and you are now on to three out of six. You're probably starting to feel pretty quick at Vim. It's starting to get pretty comfy, but there's a couple things that are a little bit bothersome, but for the most part, you are getting fast. And that is what I like to hear. You are flying like Harry Potter. <laughs> you are moving so quick right now. But you want to go faster. We all want to go faster. Life in the fast lane. Oh, we're going faster. We're putting pedals to the metal. We're going as fast as it gets. Today, we're going to be going over some in-line movements. And I'm going to give you a bonus, faster, more girthier, sweatier way to delete stuff. Oh, it's going to get good. So let's do this. All right, so in-line movements probably are your biggest bane right now. If you wanted to move around at all, you have to press like www, b, 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 or you're doing something like searching for Phil. Phil? Nobody even likes you, Phil. This kid's kind of a jerk making fun of Phil. I like Phil. Phil was a good guy. So of course, Vim already has this problem solved. F jumps to the character. T will jump up to the character, but not on top of it. Let's do a quick example. Say we wanted to jump to the F and Phil. F, F will jump to the F and Phil. Let's say we wanted to do up to F, but not on F. We do TF, jump up to Phil, but not on Phil. Just like Shift O, just like Shift P, how it put it up one line, capital F will go backwards, capital T will go backwards. So if I wanted to jump to the opening parenthesis, I could just simply do Shift F, opening parenthesis. If I wanted to jump to the capital A, I would do T, a, right? I jumped up and two, but not on top of it. So you can do that exact same movements, but it gets even better than that. Say you wanted to jump to the last E, right? You could do F E, F E, F E, F E, F E. Okay, Oof, now I'm there. Well, there's actually a little bit better of a way. You can do F E, then you can use semicolon, just jump through your results. Say you overshoot it, you've gone one too far. You can use comma to walk backwards through your results. And it works the other direction as well. And it works for T as well. It just makes line movement really, really easy. All right, let's keep going. Let's make your line editing even faster. Here's two more nuggets for you. Let's just say we had a little too many items right there. You could go up to the end, F, N, go over, D, W, get those two done. I know that is one way you could do that. Or you could press X to delete a single character, S to delete a single character and go into insert mode. Now that is pretty darn convenient. There's often where I just need to change a singular character or I need to change a character and go into insert mode. I use X and S all the time. Before I showed you DW, right? You're probably pretty used to using that. You have the DWI and then start typing. Well, there's actually a faster way to do that. One that will use less keystrokes, CW. C is just like delete, except for after the operation, it goes into insert mode. Now remember, D can be comboed with Word or J or any of these other movement commands. Well, D can just as well be comboed with F. Uh, there are faster ways to do this, but one simple way to clear out the arrays constructor is by just simply doing D, T, closing parenthesis. I deleted up to the character, closing parenthesis. Now, obviously, this doesn't always work. There could be multiple parentheses. There are faster ways to delete the insides of this content. But for now, that is a very good use of comboing these movement commands where you can take a movement plus some sort of action and it just, it just comes together so magical. And of course, F works with Y, V, all that. So I can do VF, closing parenthesis, and go all the way up and include the closing parenthesis. I could have done the exact same thing, but with T, so not having it, I can yank it. You can do YT, closing parenthesis. You can do the exact same thing and just yank all these things out. You can visualize them. You can delete them. You can even see them too, right? So CT, closing parenthesis, will cut up until then and put me in insert mode where I can start flying. Sometimes you need to delete just the rest of the contents on the line. Of course, Shift D will delete the rest of the line. Shift C will delete the rest of the line plus insert mode. Shift S will delete the entire line and put you into insert mode, properly indented. <sighs> That was great. So now you've done it. You've done day three. Get these, memorize them, make them feel natural. When you need to jump forward, I don't want you thinking about F. I want you being F. F yeah. T yeah does not sound as good, but it's also equally valid. In the end, what, it, what really this comes down to is you need to be able to start flying. I've given you almost everything you need to know to actually just 
move massively fast in Vim. From here on out, the rest of the things that I'll be showing you will be more on along the lines of vertical and file movements, which means you need to start getting ready to hop into Vim. So if last time you did not check out some plugins, you did not start experimenting with Vim itself, it's kind of start time to it's it's time to leave the nest. Bye VS Code. Bye IntelliJ. Of course, we already put Sublime in the garbage, so I don't know. No one's saying goodbye to that. And if you're using Nano, get the hell out of here. And as you're learning, I actually created a little plugin for NeoVim specifically to be able to kind of get good at some stuff. I already covered it in another video called like getting really fast at Vim. Uh, so if you actually get it installed, you can do Vim Be Good and you can play a set of games that will help you get better. Uh, Whack-A-Mole will help you get really good at F and capital F. HJKNL will help you get really good at HJKNL. Uh, you can play randomly. Different modes will have different timings. There's some various things you can do. But this actually would be a good game to start playing just to get those movements fast. Because what you don't want to be is the guy that thinks about what they have to do. You want to just simply do it. You want it to be executed without any thought. You want your spinal cord to respond to it because that's called muscle memory, baby. Well, my name is The Primogen. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you actually feel yourself getting faster. At this point, if you aren't loving Vim... I'm convinced you love the mouse. And that's all you want to do is you just want to be a little clicker. You just want to move around slow your whole life. Lonely, always playing with the mouse, never playing with real code, getting into it. Stop it. Grow up and get good at Vim.